Hello everybody and welcome to another uh, installment of Tech by Paco. Today we are unboxing an HP 15.6 inch laptop. This is an HP 15-DA0081OD Office Depot Special. It has a 7th generation Intel Core i7 7500U processor at 2.7 gigahertz. A 250 gigabyte solid state drive ha does not have an optical drive. It comes with Windows 10. It has a touch screen with multi-touch enabled. It has 8 gigs of RAM DDR4 and it has um, uh, wireless which should be uh, 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz compatible along with built-in Bluetooth. Uh, a customer wanted a slightly larger laptop than uh, previous ones I've reviewed and it also has the 10 key number pad built into the laptop. So a little bit larger gives you all the keys that you might use especially in accounting situations uh, or heavy number entering. Uh, this would be a good laptop to choose. So we'll go ahead and unbox this and see what you get. Uh, this normally, I believe, is listed for about $599. She was able to get it for a clearance price of $519 at this particular Office Depot, but uh, hopefully you can get as good of a deal when you go shopping. So as we unbox it, Got some paperwork that goes flying around, and the power supply is also included. Things flying everywhere. I'll go ahead and show you what comes in the box. Um, make sure we're in focus. But it does include some quick setup guides. Very small print warranty card and information. Does have a medium sized power supply cable with the round connector. Additional HP promotional information in multiple languages, whatever your favorite might be. And here it's the laptop itself, nicely, securely packaged. And I'll be sure to get the specs on how much it weighs. Uh, but for this generation of laptop, uh, I think it's pretty lightweight compared to what she had previously in this size range. Uh, it's a medium gray plastic case. Once again, at this price point, you're not going to get any uh, exotic metal cases, uh, magnesium or otherwise, uh, but you're still going to get similar performance that some of those fancier machines might have. And we'll see if we can zoom in just a little bit. Not with this lens, okay. And we do see uh, that we do have the keyboard with uh, the included number pad integrated into the keyboard, the large touch pad area with two distinct buttons for left and right clicking, power button in the upper left, vent holes, and uh, probably for the speakers as well. Um, this is a slightly uh, older model compared to what you can probably get nowadays with the seven, seventh generation uh, i7. But being an i7, I still believe you'll get plenty of performance out of this laptop for many years to come. As we spin the laptop around, we'll look at some of the built-in ports. And what we have here uh, is the power adapter port, the clip-in Ethernet cable, your HDMI port for hooking up to a larger monitor or television. And it does look like we have two USB uh, 3.0 ports 
and a headphone jack. On the other side of the laptop, we do have a power indicator and um, your SD card slot for expanded storage or transferring files easily. And it looks like a standard uh, USB, probably 2.0 port on this side. Uh, and a hard disk light indicator. So it's nice to have those two little indications. I have a laptop that does not show hard drive activity. Though with an SSD, I'm not sure um, how much it would flash or how fast. And we also have your Kingston lock port for anyone that wants to secure their laptop. On the back side, not too much besides the hinge. And on the bottom, just some of the compliance information. This laptop does take 19.5 volts DC input at 2.31 amps. Uh, in case that's important for you, that doesn't sound like too much power for me for the performance that you're going to get out of this. So we'll go ahead and uh, fire this up and take a look and see what HP decides to include. On the front, there is a little lip uh, so it's easier to open. There's something to grab. And we do have an integrated webcam uh, for video chat. And we'll go ahead and try booting this up immediately into Clonezilla so that we can take an image of this laptop before we do too much work on it. With H these particular HP laptops, I believe the boot menu key is going to be F9. Sometimes with an SSD, they boot up so quickly that it's uh, challenging to get the boot menu to come up, but we'll give it a try. And as a standard, I always try to take an image of a laptop uh, that a customer provides before I do any work. That way we have a point of reference to go back to in case uh, there's any issues with the finished product. We can always restore it to how the customer delivered it to us, though with a new computer, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I did see the screen flash a little bit, so we'll see if it uh, reacts this time. Awesome got into the boot menu so we'll go ahead and give this a try but uh, we'll go ahead and boot from the USB and that is a go